Hey guys, it's Faye from Solar Flow, and I am back with an all new video. Today's topic is a mini behind the veil energy read into Margaret Thatcher. So if that sounds good to you, please stick around. And if not, I will catch you at another video. Now, I myself was not terribly familiar with who Margaret Thatcher was. So I actually learned a bit about her when looking into her Wikipedia page. And I'm gonna share with you what I have copied down. Again, it's just the first paragraph. It's not like this extensive and big broad overview into who she was, but still in case you're like me and you didn't have a lot of knowledge about who she was, I gotcha. So here we go. Some 3D information into Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher, who was also a Baroness, born on October 13th, 1925, was a British state woman and conservative politician who served as prime minister in the UK from 1979 until 1990, as well as leader of the conservative party from 1975 until 1990 as well. She was the longest serving prime minister of the 20th century and the first woman to hold the position. As prime minister, she implemented economic policies known as Thatcherism. A Soviet journalist dubbed her the, quote, Iron Lady, which became associated with her uncompromising politics and leadership style. She had an estimated net worth of $10 million at the time of her death, which was February 29th, 1976. So let's see what Margaret Thatcher's energy wanted to share with me. Margaret, Shacker, Mar Margaret Thatcher first started by shaking her head at me. Again, this is not like, go away, lady, go away. Because if it was, I wouldn't be doing a whole mini energy read into her. But it was more a reflection of her reflecting and being like, wow. Because being on the other side has been an absolute trip for her. And she is not entirely sure it has been a good one. But don't worry, I explain why. It's not because, 2% personal opinion. It's not because being on the other side isn't good. It's fucking fantastic. This is just Margaret sharing her experience and why she is not sure it has been a good one. Here's why. It has been challenging for her. <laughs> a lot, as in a lot challenging. And while she can appreciate development and growth, personal development and growth, and recognizes it's good, it's challenging her in an uncomfortable way. Here's why. Because while she was alive as Margaret Thatcher, she could never imagine anything beyond the three-dimensional or anything beyond that one life or anything beyond, this is it, I got one life to live and then I'm done. Couldn't imagine it. She was incredibly duty bound and took things in her perspective far too seriously back then because she felt so incredibly tied to earth as well as its conflicts and never getting a glimpse behind the veil or even knowing there was a veil to get a glimpse behind. So she is a prime example of somebody that does not know what they do not know. And now that she is on the other side, she is just beginning to see all that she did not know. So that's why it's actually uncomfortable for her. It's kind of, if you will, you know like that mind blown emoji? It's kind of like the mind blown emoji for her because she had when she was alive a conceptual understanding of the way in which the world worked. And now being on the other side, her emoji is mind blown. And she had shared with me, she was so earthbound and in some ways energetically akin to a big skyscraper, rooted, large and looming 
and with the perception of being infallible. And that's how she felt that her decisions were infallible and would stand the test of time without reproach or without being questioned by it or of it or ever questioning if her decisions were in fact the right one. But it did not come from ego. It came from being so deeply rooted to what she thought she knew. That there could be no other way. There could be no other solution. And there could be nothing beyond what was. Veiled. Very, very veiled. But how wrong she in fact sees she was. Because being so deeply rooted came with immense drawbacks, she acknowledges. Because she was so deeply rooted, therefore she could not move from where she was. She was immovable with her decisions, hence the Iron Lady nickname that was given to her. She was so immovable with her decisions and she could in fact be as concrete as the foundation her skyscraper, if you will, was built on. True, at the top floor of the skyscraper, she had an expansive view. Just as her prominent position as prime minister afforded her more knowledge, more intel, and certainly more power. But again, she took it, according to herself, on the other side, she took it all too seriously. She thought it was all the only thing that was in fact real. So if she could give any of us advice from the other side, it would be not to take everything so seriously. Go for a walk outside. Sit down by a sunny window and have a cup of tea. Take an indulgent bath in the middle of the day just because. Because there is a lot of living left to do and left to be lived before we are on the other side. So that concludes the mini energy read into the former Prime Minister of the UK, Margaret Thatcher. I remind you to please take what resonates and to leave the rest behind. And as always, and until next time, to stay in the high vibration.